No, we're not going fishing. We're going slot car racing. Welcome back to the Place with Cars YouTube channel. My name's Michael, and today we are, yes indeed, going racing, but with little cars instead of big ones. That's right, it's time once again for us to go visit our friends at Fozar. That's the Portland HO Scale Auto Racers uh, who put on a fantastic program with HO Scale slot cars. They are the approximately the Hot Wheel size uh, car, electric cars that you can race on tracks. Uh, the club has four different tracks um, that are at members' houses and they rotate who hosts the races uh, every couple of weeks or so. And um, they do amazing, amazing races. We've done a couple of videos with them before, including when Mr. Bob Beers came up to visit a couple years ago. Uh, you can check out those videos. I'll put some links in the description to the older ones. Uh, but yeah, this is their end of the year uh, Oregon Invitational. So it's um, their racing season ends kind of in May because everybody in the summer goes and does summer things. It doesn't stay inside and play slot cars. So this is the, the end of the line for the season, but they do this big, um, IROC style race. So that means all the cars are identical. And this year they are TFX, which is a brand new um, T Jet style car, but like completely reimagined. They're supposed to be wicked fast and wicked fun to race. Um, so there's 30 of those, 30 racers invited from all over the Pacific Northwest, and uh, big swap meet going on too in the whole nine yards. So we'll bring you all the action from it right now. <laughs> All right, so we've made it to the race. There's 36 people signed up already, and then more here beside it. There's a swap meet going on, the racing, the whole nine, and uh, we've got our car. Let's take a look at it. So this is the TFX chassis. There, you guys are telling me you need to oil every little thing on it, but you can see it's got O-ring front. <laughs> Uh, wheels on it and a snap-in rear axle and uh, this kind of this funky style guide thing that's really neat uh, and then the IROC bodies for today are the 69 Camaro Z28s. All right, and just like racing real cars, chassis setup is definitely a thing. So you want to make sure your ride height is good, uh, especially in the slot. You don't want the, uh, the guide pin there too deep because uh, then the car will ride high up and will ride on the, the guide pin instead of on the tires. Uh, and then you don't want it too low because it'll drag all of the uh, body or the chassis parts on the, the track. You want just a little bit of gap there for the uh, uh, the shoes to ride on the rails. Um, these guys are really getting into it. They've got all sorts of tools and things going on, so uh, we're at a disadvantage. But hey, you know what? We're here to have fun. So this is the track. It's a four lane and it's a routed setup. Right there. It's whoever. Okay, so we're not doing the whole runoff and everything? No. Why not? Too many people. You can't make it work? I didn't have the brackets. No, no. Oh, yeah? Much better. I haven't put mine on. <laughs> yeah, you need some You need some turn marshals. Mike Lee is on deck. Everybody oh, is running through the rotation three times. Woo! The cumulative total of your three rounds. Twelve times. You're going to run twelve times. Everybody runs the same amount. We'll see how you do. It's the only way Phyllis can figure yeah. out how to cheat. That's right. Already? 
get the hell out of my way. I think that was what he said. Because it is a good idea. If a car comes off, pick it up so you don't hold up somebody else. Push it. Jump the clutch sooner next time. White flag. Checkered flag. Oh my God, you can't get in them. Thank you. Set my controller up every time. Oh, okay. <laughs> Turn them all back. Yeah, yeah. Set my controller up every time. Right? No. I can't drive it. You know what I'm saying? Get it. Well, you know what I'm saying? Man, look at this. There's strips that thing's making. All right, so they're still racing. What they did was three round robins. And so you start off at the, the far lane, the red, and you run red, white, blue, and yellow. Uh, and then they're circling each racer through three times. So I just finished my third heat. I did not make the top eight, so I'm not gonna make the cut to the next round, but it was a lot of fun. I did finally get 10 laps on one heat, which was really tough for me to do. Uh, I don't drive cars without traction magnets very often, but this DFX really was a lot of fun. Highly recommend these. Well, that's going to do it uh, here at Fozar. They're all done with the races. They did the top eight, the top four, and the winner and all that. They did the Oregon Cup. Um, I came in third or fourth from last, so it wasn't dead last. That was good since I haven't really raced at all uh, besides with the kids. But it was a whole lot of fun hanging out with these guys. I can't believe how many people came. I won today. Did you really? Ron won. Ron said he won. Ron, it's fact because you saw it on YouTube. All right. Hope you enjoyed this one. Catch you in the next video.